turn the cam on and see what we see. Such a beautiful place here. If any of you have visited North Conway, such a beautiful place. But being a vacation town, it's a, it's a struggle to live here. Um, a lot of good people, but you know the small town, hometown bullshit that probably applies to your little town too. Lots of drama and bickering and foolishness. Same as you see on the internet and everywhere now. Uh, I wanted to speak to you here about all this secession that's going on and uh, just kind of look at both sides of that because we need to stand up, we need to take this country back. I think most of us agree on that. But the problem is, is these, uh, well, look at that. Wonderful. Uh, these petitions are signed by individuals like you and me. I know I started one for New Hampshire. I think 25 of them now have been filed. Well, folks, technically that's a major uprising, along with the Occupy movement. And if you go look at the Wikipedia, which I'll link you to below, and you can read through that, it's going to tell you that the president can institute martial law upon a major uprising. So we got to think about this and we got to go ass and elbows. There's no half stepping, okay? Let's be clear that you got to follow through because if you don't follow through, then it's just a movement stimulated by propaganda to incite a reason to take full control of the country through martial law. The scenic railroad over there, just so you know where you are. You gotta go for it. And, you, and you've gotta do more than just make a petition. You've gotta form groups, you've gotta contact your, your state officials, your governors, your senators, and you have to be very clear to them what you intend to do. And, and you have to move quickly because these petitions, first of all, need 25,000 signatures to be considered in 30 days. Now, most of us can't reach out to 25,000 people. If we get lucky and something clicks, yeah, it goes viral, but that doesn't happen very often, does it? Otherwise, all of us YouTubers would be rich now. So, it isn't about the money. Anyway, it's what we gotta do. We've got to get very proactive in this. We do need to do something. Don't let anybody twist this to say, oh, you're inciting terrorism or violence. No. I don't have to sign on the dotted line and receive a check from the government to defend my country. And some of us do it with guns. Some of us do it with our computer skills. Others do it with the, our voices, our music, our art. Well, this is how I do it. And that's how you're going to have to do it. Find your way, but do it. And don't stop doing it. Because if you go halfway, you're going to be in one of those 800 FEMA camps. Hey, 